Welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about which security programs you need in order to protect yourself while using your computer. Please be sure to follow along in the video description as I will be listing all important links down in the notes below. Now coming in at number one, we're going to first get the obvious one out of the way. You need a good antivirus program. Now, Windows 10 comes with a free built-in antivirus program called Windows Defender, and that's the one I have up on the screen right now. And so if this is one that you want to get to, you just click on the Windows button down in the bottom left corner, and go ahead and just type in Settings into the menu, and then you'll go ahead and open up the Settings option, and then just look for where it says Update and Security, and then over here on the left-hand side, you'll click on Windows Defender, and there's an open option there so you can open up Windows Defender. At this current point in time, I am comfortable recommending Windows Defender. It is now a good antivirus option, not just because it's free, but because Microsoft has made enough improvements to it that it is now good, reliable protection. In addition to that, it has minimal impact on your computer's performance. Or in other words, it's not going to slow your computer down as much as some other antivirus programs. Please be aware down below in the notes, I will list links to free alternative antivirus programs in case you are looking for additional options. Now, if you're looking for the best antivirus program on the planet, the one I recommend is Bitdefender. It is a paid antivirus program, but again, you get the peace of mind knowing that you're getting the best possible service in my opinion. If you don't believe me on that, do the research. Bitdefender does consistently year after year score very high on various different antivirus tests and that is why I recommend Bitdefender as the best antivirus program currently available. Coming in at number two, you need a good anti-malware program. Now your antivirus program is going to stop the most serious threats, however an anti-malware program will have a much more broad scan which will pick up with what your antivirus program misses. Up on the screen right now, I have the free version of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, as well as the free version of Super Anti-Spyware. These are both great anti-malware programs, and I will list the links down below in the notes as to where you can get these. Now again, please note I said the free version. Please don't download and install the paid version. You don't need to. Just use the free version. And what you're going to do is, at least once a month, you're going to open up each one of these programs, and on Malwarebytes, you're going to come over here and just click and make sure that it is up to date. And then you're going to go ahead and run a scan. Same with Super Anti Spyware. You're going to come over here and click on Check for Updates just to make sure it's up to date first with the latest definitions. And then you'll click on Scan This Computer and make sure you do a complete scan. Again, both of these will check for and pick up what your antivirus is going to miss. Coming in at number three, you need a good automated online backup service. The reason being, if your computer is ever infected with a virus, ransomware, or other form of malware, or if the computer is lost or stolen or broken, you don't risk losing all of your data because you have everything backed up. And because it's automated, you don't have to remember to do the backup on your own. It just automatically backs it up. Additionally, because it's backed up online, it means it's backed up off-site. So if there's ever a house fire, a break-in, you don't lose all of your data. That includes external drives. So the service I recommend is up on the screen right now. It's called Backblaze. For about $5 a month, you get unlimited backup space. That includes external drives. That's hard to beat. I've tried other services such as Mosey and Carbonite. They don't offer that. Backblaze does. And there are other options out there. The reason why I talk about Backblaze, Carbonite, and Mosey is because I've actually used their service. But the best one that I've been able to find and the one I recommend is, again, up on the screen right now, Backblaze. I will list the link down below in the notes, as well as I will also list links for alternative options down below in the notes as well. Now, coming in at number four, every computer needs a good VPN service, which stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, what a VPN does is it not only hides your IP address, but it encrypts all data going to and from your computer over the internet. And this is a must-have if you use public Wi-Fi. You should never, ever use public Wi-Fi without a VPN, whether it's a 
mobile phone, a tablet, or a computer, you should always use a VPN when using public Wi-Fi. In addition to that, however, it's getting to the point where you should use a VPN even when you're at home because there's so many criminals and hackers trying to steal your data as well as companies and government agencies trying to spy on you. And so using a VPN at home is also recommended. Now, I am going to give a couple recommendations, but please keep in mind there are many different VPN services out there, and I'm just going to go over some of the things to look for in a good VPN service. The one I have up on the screen right now is CyberGhost, and if I scroll down here, we can look at some of the features. Uh, one of the things that I like about this one is it does have a filter which blocks malicious websites and content, so it's an extra layer of security. Not all VPNs have that feature. So that is a plus, as well as CyberGhost is available for multiple devices, which includes phones and tablets. Not all VPNs do that, so that's another plus with CyberGhost. Continuing down, now a feature you absolutely need when looking for a VPN is an automatic, an automatic kill switch. What this does is if for any reason your VPN disconnects, it stops the internet connection, it, it blocks it, so that way you're not exposed if your VPN suddenly cuts out, which is something you definitely, absolutely need. And also, absolutely make sure that whatever VPN service you use states they have a no-log policy. You're only as safe as your VPN service. If they're just logging all of the sites you're going to and all of your data, that's not safe. So make sure it states it has a no-log policy. And in addition to that, I would strongly recommend using a VPN service that is not headquartered in the United States because the U.S. does not have great privacy laws. CyberGhost is based in Romania and Germany. But as an alternative option, I would recommend ProtonVPN because they are headquartered in Switzerland. And Switzerland has some of the most strict, best privacy laws on the planet. And so if you're looking for the most secure, most private option available, ProtonVPN may be the best choice. I did notice that they do not state that it's available for multiple devices. So that is a possible downside with ProtonVPN, as well as they did not specifically state anything as far as any sort of filter. But you may not need those. And so if you're just looking for the best, most secure private option, ProtonVPN may be the best choice to go with. Please keep in mind there is a free version of ProtonVPN and a free version of CyberGhost. However, I would still recommend going with the paid version for each one just because you're going to get better service, more options, and overall I think you're going to be more satisfied using the paid version versus the free version. Coming in at number five, I recommend that you use the professional version of Windows. The reason being is it comes with full disk encryption available in the operating system, whereas the home and student editions do not. Yes, there are alternative options, and I will list those down below in the notes. But for simplicity's sake and user friendliness, the best option is just get the professional version of Windows. Once you have it, all you have to do is come down here to the Start menu and type in control panel and then you just go ahead and open up the control panel look for where it says system and security and you will now have an option right here that will say BitLocker if I click on it it gives us the option to turn it on and it will go ahead and fully encrypt the drive which is very important to do because if the computer is ever lost or stolen you don't have to worry about criminals or other people getting to your data because it's encrypted as a side note, if you're using an Apple Mac computer, it also comes with full disk encryption built into the operating system. All you would do is click on the Apple icon in the top left corner of your screen and go to System Preferences and then select Security and Privacy. And from there, you just click on File Vault and turn it on and it will fully encrypt your drive in your Mac computer. Coming in at number six, you need a password keeper or password vault. The reason being your security is really only as good as your password. If you have short, simple passwords, those are not going to keep you protected. They need to be long passwords, at least 16 characters made up of random letters, symbols, and numbers. 
and trying to remember all of those passwords is impossible and that's where a password keeper and password vault come in because it not only remembers the passwords for you but it can also enter the password in for you as well so you don't have to type it in every time now there's lots of different uh, services available the one i recommend is dashlane it's available for windows and mac as well as mobile devices if you get the premium version Basically what you're paying for is the ability for it to sync across your devices, meaning if you enter a password in on your phone, it will update it on your computer for you. But you can also just use the free version if you don't want to worry about the ability to sync across devices. There are other services available. I will list those down below in the notes as well as a link to this page. Other common ones would be LastPass or 1Password, though I should note. LastPass may or may not have been hacked back in 2015, but there are plenty of other options out there. Bottom line, you need to use a password keeper or password vault so that way you can create long, random, secure passwords that are different for everything. And then that way you don't have to worry about remembering them and you don't have to worry about typing them in every time you use them. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below and I will respond as quickly as possible. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video.